Just like him, just sub him, it's Yahya Cham 21 What's up YouTubers, today is Yahya Cham 21 I am back with another video, how are we all doing today? I hope everyone is having an amazing day Welcome back to another vlog where we go to every town, city, village in Scotland Today we've arrived at Beef. Beef is another town in North Wales, which I'm doing currently at the moment. I'm excited to vlog this place because I've never been here before. So guys, make sure you watch the whole entire video because I'm going to give you a great tour of this place and you might even be interested to come one day. So guys, enough of me talking. Let's get this vlog started with. <laughs> Right guys, here's the first place I'd like to give you a little tour of. So this is the Beef Community Garden. So, wait, I think this is probably the second or third time we've saw one in my journey around Scotland so far. So you go though, there's a little wee sign over there. And you know, this is a nice one over here we've got. So yeah, I think I did see one in Crossley, definitely. I remember that if you have watched that video. Here's a little bit about this. The bench was donated by the wee EU Kirk June 2019 recognition of the witness as a congregation for over 150 years. That's a big word over there, but yeah. There you go, you've got a nice little bit over here and then you've got, we, I've got an eagle over here, you've got an owl. So as we keep going by, we've got, we've got some really nice columns over here. That's a lot of art designing, as we can see. So it looks like it's been there for at least five years or something. It looks pretty, a bit old, but that's still colourful, very colourful. It's painted by Second Beef Guides. Cool. Okay. So, it's very quiet here today. I think lots of people who live in Beef probably just pretty much getting tired of coming here. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's just not busy today, but it was keep going up. It's pretty, it's just quiet. Nothing really much here. We've got a nice little place so you can sit down on a bench over here. And yeah, that is the community garden for you. It's pretty small, to be honest. Let's move on to our next destination. I will see you there. Right, guys, here we are as well. Beef Conference Station Town. So we've got the Beef Town Regeneration. So this is exactly what we saw Uncle Bunny in the last vlog. So if you watch that, then you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. This is just a bit of updates about them, and it says the exact same thing. Founded by North Asia Council Economic Development Service, right? And it probably does need an update because this is the 30, that says the 31st, and yeah, it should be getting updated well past that now. We're now in February, so yeah, you know, should get a bit of an update. There's probably going to be another one round here. We're probably going to bump into another one. So yeah, guys, let's move on to our next destination. I will see you there. Here we are at the War Memorial. So, we will go up here and yep, Beef also have some people that fighted in the war. Pretty much every single town and village that we go to in the future, so they're all gonna have War Memorials, pretty much all of them, because there's pretty much everyone from every town, village and all that in Scotland that have been fighting in the war, so. Uh, this time, no, it's not from Alphabet squads are like we saw in the other War Memorial in Kilburnie. So it's pretty cool. And then they've got the poppies. Yeah, so that is it for you. We're off to the park next. It's a big one, and I'll see you when we get there. Here we are, guys. Here is the park. Right, I know you can't see it yet. It's right down there, but this is pretty much what you call the park because it's got a football pitch over there, you even got a skateboard and like roller skates and all that over there. You can probably go on your bike and that as well. I'm gonna go down there and show you what it looks like. This is it, so yeah, you've got these over here and then there's just one where you can like run up and down. It's like that hill thing, I'm pretty sure you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you can just perform lots of skills and tricks over here, as many as you want. It seems fun, and if you are into these kind of stuff, then this is a good place for you to try them out, you know? And let's head off to the actual park. And as you can see over here, you can see some football net goals, but they don't have any nets, so 
Yeah. And I'm not actually sure if like, any of my pals or anything like that go to these places to play football, you know. I, I did get told they do play in beef, but I'm not, I don't think it's these goals. I mean, I'm not too sure, but if they are then, cause that's cool. I mean, it looks a bit muddy. But let's go on to the park just over there I'm going to show you. Here is the park for you. So this is the first bit of it. So it's pretty decent, I guess. So you can see. And there's actually one down below that I'll show you right now. Here we are. So this park has a lot of variety of things you can do, which is very good. I really like how Beaver managed to do that. Whoever built this park. But they've got the tennis one over here. Basketball. We've seen these kind of type of things like five times already now so yeah we've got the ones with the basketball and the under it's got the football goal yeah so that is that for you so there's two one there's probably one for like probably younger people to play on and then there's one that well, not the older people to play on i'm not too sure but that's what i'd probably do but yeah so then after you've got the park the park seems pretty quiet not too busy today and uh, now guys that's enough from the park i'm just going to stay here for a little while and then after we're going to move on to our next destination i will see you after then right guys we're just going to go to day to day to get some food see i'll see you when we get inside right guys we're inside day to day i'm just going to get maybe one snack i'll see you when we get back outside right guys that's me out of day to day so i'm just going to Bite on these, I'm just gonna have one of them probably, and I've just got like, these two as well. They were three for a pound, so I may as well just look at the other two. But yeah, so I'm just gonna munch into this and I will see you after the event. Right, guys, so I finished my little break. That was a nice sandwich, crisp, and drink I had. It was decent, it was alright, and the crispy cake as well that I had. So, we've arrived to our next destination, which was literally just round the corner from where I was eating my food. So, it's the community centre. So, this place is literally full of activities, there's lots of stuff you can do in here, the dance studios and all that as well. The Beef Community Centre is a really good place to come to, there's lots of activities and according to some people it's very helpful, I've asked a lot of people uh, what they think of the Community Centre, it's very helpful and it might be a place that you should come and visit if you're coming to Beef. You know, there's lots of stuff you can do, there's probably futsal as well, possibly basketball, possibly, I'm not too sure but yeah. If that's the case, then I guess this is a perfect thing to do in Beef if you ever come here. So yeah guys, let's go on to our next destination, which I'll see you when we get there. Right guys, so we've got the other part of the War Memorial over here. So this is just a little bit far away from the other one we vlogged. This is maybe probably like a six minute walk that took me. And then also, it's not just War Memorial, we also have like the NHS key workers so, Beef have actually decided to make a bench for the NHS that have been working so hard over the lockdown in back in 2020. So that was that was probably the most boring lockdown we've ever had. Well, we've only had two, but that, the first one was probably the most boring one. This bench is dedicated to all the key workers that supported and continue to support the COVID-19 response and recovery in memory of all those that were affected and lost their lives to the pandemic funded by Beef. Christian Action Group Thrift Shop June 2020. So the Thrift Shop is actually not too far away. It's shut at the moment, probably because it's getting a bit late now. But yep, as you can see, we've got the NHS and then just the rainbow. Key workers, it's absolutely well done if you leave. A lot of respect for you. It's absolutely well done. Nice bench as well, like it. But yeah, guys. That wraps up today's video. I am done at Beef today. I really enjoyed my time here. Sorry about the cars, don't mind them, they're just driving past. But yeah guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Like the video if you like the video. Comment if you want to say something about the video. And most importantly guys, just need to click that subscribe button as you will follow my adventure around Scotland. Follow the adventure around Scotland. And yeah guys, that's me for today. Goodbye everyone. Just like him, just sub him. It's Yasha Charm 21.